We all have experienced the tiresome repeated searching when trying to book the cheapest possible flights to any given destination. With endless search engines and continuously flunking prices, the approach to fragile flighting booking is overwhelming. Here are some key tips that will save your time, frustration and most importantly, money when booking your next flight. Number 1. Keep your searches top secret. You're not crazy for thinking that a flight price has changed after searching it a few times in your web browser. Based on the cookies in your browser, flight prices do increase with a particular route is repeatedly searched as the site wants to scare you into booking the flight quickly before prices get even higher. Always search for flight in Cognito or private browsing mode to see the lowest price. In Google Chrome or Safari, Incognito is enabled by hitting Command or Control if using PC, Shift N for Mozilla, Firefox or Internet Explorer, hit Command or Control if using a PC, Shift P this will open a new browser window where your information is not tracked, thus not inflating prices as you search. Note: If you are using an older version of OS X, Open Safari, then click Safari in the menu bar and select Private Browsing. Mm. Number 2. Use the best flight searching engines. All search engines have inflated flight cost as part of taking a cut from airlines. Some search engines, e.g. Expedia, consistently inflate much higher than others listed below if pays to familiarize yourself with a site that offers the best prices. Number 3. Identify the cheapest day to fly out. While many theories exist around bookings especially on a Tuesday to save money, the real reality is there is no constant truth to exactly which days are cheapest to fly. Most of the time, it is cheaper to leave on a weekday even though this isn't always the case. Your best strategy is to get a quick visual of prices for whole month to see what days are the cheapest for your specific route. Here's how. Step 1. Hope on the Skyscanner website or download the app. Step 2. Enter your departure and arrival cities. Step 3. Select any way even if flying round trip, you're just determining the cheapest days to fly out first. Step 4. On a computer, click depart. Number 4. Fly for free with points. The cheapest flight you can book is free and the easiest way to do that is with points. If you don't have any, don't free signing up for just one travel rewards credit card and hitting the minimum spend that can le le lend you a major point bonus often enough for a free flight. You can sign up for an airline rewards card that earns points with particular airline or a more general travel rewards cards that lets you redeem points across a variety of airlines. As a beginner card, we recommend the Chase Sapphire preferred card. You can earn up to 60,000 in bonus points after spending $4,000 in the first 3 months. After your account opening, that's worth $750 when redeemed to Case Ultimate Rewards and more than enough for a domestic flight. There is also no foreign transaction fees so it is the perfect all-rounder travel credit card. With other top credit points for everything you need to get started. Number 5. Brief Friend Budget Airlines Budget airlines offer significantly cheaper tickets than their full-service counterparts. It should be obvious, but this comes with compromises such as less red loom and no free food drink on board, which be the way is normally covered in your higher price ticket with full-service airlines. If you're considering fly budget, which is in your opinion is the greatest way to save, I would highly recommend reading our guide on 7 most known facts about budget airlines. Blue is a comprehensive list of budget airlines around the globe. Red indicates true budget airlines while blue implies the cheapest companies available where budget airlines don't exist or aren't plentiful. That was all from us from today's video. If you learned anything, please subscribe to the channel and keep watching Beaming Ring.